Cassie Cavill Pascal joining us here in studio. Hi, Cass. Hi, Jody. I'm glad to have you here to talk about Safe and Fun Hockey. We have you each year for this. What a great initiative. Tell everybody about it. Yeah, it's the Chevrolet Safe and Fun Hockey Program, and uh, myself and Bobby Orr have been doing this since 1999, and it just keeps evolving and getting bigger and better. And uh, basically, it started as a parent's approach for their kids on making sure hockey was safe and fun, obviously, hence the name, and about respect and responsibility and what your kids learn from hockey. And now we've evolved to the Chevrolet Helmet Program, where we give five-year-olds a free Bauer hockey helmet. Um, and it's about safety again and the whole concussion issue and uh, we've given out uh, 25,000 helmets over the last two years and free. I have one. Yeah, and Because Brady fantastic. was five last year because last year you sat right here and said if your child was born in 2007 all you have to do is hit the website and they will send you a Bauer helmet. I was yeah, it's easy. Safeandfunhockey.ca. It gives you all the details, but basically, in a nutshell, uh, you've got to bring, you know, fill out the registration form, bring proof of uh, birth, the year of yes. birth, and all that stuff to a Chevrolet dealership. They'll give you a mini kind of credit card thing. You take it to a sport check for Zanny for Zanny Group store, and boom, you got a free helmet. And it's really easy, and there's no fancy, funny, deadle strings attached or anything. Nope. It's basically go to the dealership, get yourself a free helmet, as long as your child, boy or girl, which is great, girl, girl, girl. Go, go, go. Uh, was born in 2008 this year. So now you've got a girl, girl, girl. Yes. Yeah. And how old is she? How old is Brooke? Uh, she, Brooke is two and a half. Yeah. Unbelievable. And yeah. you travel so much with work. We see you on yeah. Hockey Night in Canada doing your great works. We're so proud. Well, the proud. playoffs are a little tough because that you know usually I'm just gone on the weekends yeah. and you know then I'm home all week. But the playoffs you're gone for large chunks of time. So uh, grandmas and grandpas are key and help is key. And uh, but she's a great little girl. And I don't know if she'll ever grow up to play hockey. Uh, she's a little bit more girly than I was at that age. I think according to my mom so but whatever she is the thing is Jody she has a choice now like yeah. little girls can do anything they want and, and that's amazing so it is yeah. amazing what, what are you gonna do for Father's Day this year well don't tell my husband but I'm, I'm sending him uh, to get a two-hour massage because I think that's key and uh -huh. uh, and then Last I heard, we're having a bunch of his friends over from work for a barbecue, so I think that's what he wants to do, and, and I'm just going to hang out with my daughter and give him a little bit of free time, and we'll probably make him a nice breakfast and, and just spend some quality time at home. So. For those who don't know, what is his work? <laughs> Uh, his work, he, my husband works for Hockey Canada, he's the Vice President of Hockey Operations, so, and when I'm away on the road, he's a great dad and, and hands-on, so, uh, it, to, you know, Father's Day for me is about just letting him do what he wants and, and to have a good time and rest and relaxation, so. We have a thread on Facebook asking, what is the greatest lesson your father taught you? What is the greatest lesson your father I think it was in advice. university. I had a university job I, as a waitress. I was making no money like any of us who went to university. And he always said, Cass, it doesn't matter, always put something into savings. So I used to put, at the time, I think it was $25 a month into savings. And you know now, you know, it's a little nest egg, but it started yeah. back when I was in university. And that was his whole thing is, is put $5 in, put $10 in, whatever you can afford per month, just save some money. And that kind of hit home for me. So. High five, my stepdad yeah. did the same thing. Nice. It was the best advice. You can take that <laughs> advice. Okay, be Remiss if I didn't ask you about the Stanley Cup final. Obviously, Vancouver Canuck fans are a little bit. They don't like this torn. final. <laughs> no, they don't like this at all. It's hard. But Bruins, uh, Blackhawks, uh, the overtime was exciting to say the least. Yeah. Do you uh, pontificate? Do you um, do you? Yeah feel one side or the other? Do you want to give us your take on that? Well, I, I kind of had Boston going in, and I covered Chicago the last two rounds, so that's, you know, a little difficult for me to do when you're, you get kind of closer to a team, but um, I just thought goaltending-wise, I thought Rask would outplay Crawford, and that's not what happened in game number one, mm -hmm. and, and I think Croft, both goaltenders have something to prove. They want to be the number one guy who wins the Stanley Cup for their organization, um, but that's where I thought the difference would be, but, I, you know, I think this can go seven, and I think we could have multiple games going into overtime. I think this is going to be a fantastic series. And original six teams that have never met before. That like, crazy? that's just crazy it in the Stanley Cup final. So, Russ, I don't think it gets cooler than hanging out with Cassie Campbell Pascal and talking hockey. <laughs> this is like my brush with greatness, and I'm, I'm only in a split screen. There you I, are. I, I'm just feeling really excited about the whole thing. I, Cassie, I love your work on Hockey Night. That is Thank just you. spectacular. Some of those suits they have on the panel, they could just move aside. I wouldn't miss them at all. But right there. To see more she of you just on slides there, right yeah. into the chair. Thanks, <laughs> I won't mention any names. I <laughs> just want to see more of you. Thanks Look so much. Ron 